Ever pondered over the mystery behind the organization of vast amounts of data into meaningful clusters? Well, today we unravel that mystery by diving deep into the world of clustering algorithms. First off, we have k-means clustering, a real crowd pleaser in the world of data science. Imagine that you have a scatter plot of data points and you want to group them based on their proximity to each other. K-means clustering does exactly that. It starts by randomly placing K centroids, where K is the number of clusters you want. These centroids act like gravity, pulling closer data points into their orbit. The algorithm then calculates the distance of each data point to the centroids, assigning points to the closest one, thus forming clusters. Now the centroids shift to the average position of all the points in their cluster, and the process repeats until the centroids stop moving. Voila, you have your clusters. Key points to remember about k-means? It's simple and efficient, but the number of clusters k needs to be specified in advance, and it may not work well with clusters of different shapes and sizes. Next up, we have hierarchical clustering, a method that builds a hierarchy of clusters. Imagine a family tree, but for data points. This algorithm starts by treating each data point as a single cluster. It then pairs up the closest clusters, forming a new cluster. This process repeats merging clusters until only one big cluster remains. You can then cut the tree at any level to get the number of clusters you want. The beauty of hierarchical clustering? You get a beautiful tree diagram called a dendrogram that shows how the clusters are related. But remember, it can be slow for large data sets and doesn't work well if you have noisy data. Finally, we have DBSCAN, a density-based clustering algorithm. Instead of grouping data based on distance like k-means or hierarchical clustering, DBSCAN groups data points that are packed closely together. It starts by picking a random point. If there are at least min PTs within a radius of EPS, a new cluster forms. The algorithm then checks the EPS neighborhood of these new points, adding any points found to the cluster. This process repeats until no more points can be added, and then a new random point is selected. The strength of DBSCAN? It can find clusters of any shape, not just spherical like k-means. It's also great at separating high-density clusters from low-density noise. But remember, it can be tricky to find the right EPS and MinPT's parameters, and it doesn't perform well with clusters of varying densities. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of clustering algorithms. Remember, each one has its strengths and weaknesses. Choose wisely based on your data and the problem at hand. The world of data is vast and unending, but with these tools in your arsenal, you're well-equipped to make sense of it all.